Hey guys, I wanted to make a really quick video on what I'm doing. I have another hatch happening. I have nine that was that hatched and two are left. They're taking a bit longer. I'm going to give them more time just to make sure there's no peeping yet. I don't hear any cracking. So I'm going to get straight on with the video anyway. So over here, um, I had a couple questions um, in my comments. So I have water. They asked me what to do with water. So I have I've been trying to do the um, uh, the wet uh, incubate where I have 40% humidity or lots of water on the bottom and then I use this to um, ventilate it aka uh, just um, letting the amount of uh, hu air come through or stay in so this will keep it at, I'm right now having it at 64 because uh, the last, uh, from day 18 and so on, will be locked down and when you stop turning the eggs and you leave them set and you have the, the uh, humidity at 65%. The temperature is really low. Some of these, the only reason why it's low is because that it's um, just in different places and it's higher up. A lot of these are perfectly uh, perfect. They are, have humidity of 99.9 and 37.6, but 37.5, so it's just a bit off in different sections. That's what I had a problem with is humidity in different areas, but right now it's perfect. So I keep my water in here and I keep that little one for my packet in another video. In my other video tips and tricks, I'll t you guys can go uh, check it out. Um, how to use my uh, how to use the Safego uh, K Tech incubator. It's a really good, helpful video that I posted, and you should go check it out. Uh, it also tell you what I, why I only use one of my um, one of my um, waterways, I guess, water tunnels or water holders. <laughs> just the area where you keep the water because there's two so I use the first one that's the biggest I also have a sponge this helps hold in the moisture and doesn't let it go really quickly it's just right there here I'll try to show you it guys can you pass me the water? yeah sure so right here I don't know if you can see that there's a sponge it's small enough where it won't will, where it will fit under the thing so it's about like an like I don't know, half centimeter or half inch by two inches by two inches around there. Just whatever fits underneath. I have it just a small one. It helps. Then I put the tape under it. As you can see, I wrapped it around with a towel. Uh, I had another towel around it when there was chicks in it, but I took that away because I only needed one. But yes, adding a towel will help. I find it helps to hold in the mo uh, hold in the heat too. I also add duct tape around it because I find um, when you put the uh, probes in, I don't know if you guys can see, I don't wanna, there's like a hole that comes up. See that hole? That is the main cause I find of losing heat. So I add duct tape and then of course there's, um, it needs to be weighted so I just, a bunch of books on top this helps it hold the heat and I find and helps a lot then I add lots of water lots of water so yes you can remove the styrofoam I find you don't need to the couple stages but when you're hatching I like to take them out because I like to watch them to make sure there's nothing happening to the chicks where where they are you know pecking at each other or hurting each other or someone stuck so I do take them out uh, I do take the styrofoam this the styrofoam off and when they're hatching so yes that's I can take it off so and then uh, I don't again I don't take it off when when they're not hatching because I find it's unnecessary and it helps to reduce your stress a lot because you're not worried about it going down if you didn't have it on then it would just the the temperature would just plummet and it would be hard to keep the humidity in 
So I find just keeping it on till they hatch and then up doing this, applying duct tape, a towel and that and checking on them, you know, every so often would be really good. And then I also have just a light to cast over them. And yeah. So I have lots more of these videos to share with you guys. So please subscribe. I hope this helps with any of your comments. Really, if you need any help, just quickly give me a comment. I'm trying my best to make sure. Because I know this, these types of incubators are really nice. But they are very hard to keep to make sure you're doing them right and keeping the humidity up so yeah I'm still learning so it's a learning process to see what what works and what doesn't but yeah hope this helps make sure you subscribe like and comment if this is helpful or not bye guys bye